What's going on YouTube? Geosnow right here. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to un-jailbreak the Electra jailbreak or how to remove the Electra jailbreak for iOS 11.3.1 all the way down to iOS 11.2 without having to restore or without having to update to 11.4. This will leave you on iOS 11.3 or iOS 11.3.1 or whatever firmware you're currently using, but on a clean state so that you can try again later to jailbreak again without having to deal with the mess that has been on the previous jailbreak. So I'm going to show you how to do that. At first, we need to go ahead and get this script in here, which is called Dielectra. Now, Dielectra is an uninstaller script that works pretty fine on both iOS 11.0 up to iOS 11.1.2 and iOS 11.2 all the way up to iOS 11.3.1. So it's pretty nice. Now, what I need to do is to download it and go ahead in here. You press clone and download and you will have the folder in there. So I'm going to go ahead and do it right now press download zip and you will have the uh, folder that you will have to extract in here. So go ahead and extract it and there we go. We have a folder containing the unjailbreak.sh that we will have to pretty much go ahead and put on a device. So connect your device to the computer and we're going to SSH into it. I'm going to open the terminal on Linux and Mac OS. You can open the terminal right away. And if you do not have a Mac or you have a Windows computer, you're going to have to use WinSCP. The link will be in the description down below, but the credentials are the same. So I'm going to go ahead here, make it bigger, so bigger in here. And what you need to do is to pretty much move that file, the uh, dielectra or the unjailbreak.sh, into the phone. To do that, you're going to first need to write SCP. So SCP on Linux and uh, on Mac. On Windows, you can do it by drag and drop. And after that, we're going to have to take the file. So drag the file and drop it in here. And then we write root, which is the username, at, and now we have to find the IP address of the phone. To do that, you're going to need to go to Wi-Fi and to press the little I right next to the Wi-Fi network you're connected on. And in my case, it's 192.168.1.7. And this is the IP address of the phone. Now you put a colon and a slash, and I'm going to say Electra. This is the folder where we're going to put the file on the phone. So press enter and it's going to ask you something like this. Sometimes I'm going to say yes. And I'm going to say Alpine, A-L-P-I-N-E for the password. It's the default password if you didn't change it. And of course the file is now in there. Now we need SSH into that device. So SSH on uh, Mac OS and Linux. On Windows, the WinSCP has a little terminal button that looks something like this in here that you're going to press and you're going to be able to run commands. Now I'm going to say root, sorry, root at 192.168.1.7. Remember that your IP address might be different and we're going to press enter. The password by default is Alpine for all devices, A-L-P-I-N-E. And I'm going to say CD into the uh, root directory, LS, and there we go. We have everything in here. Now, as you can see, there is a folder called Electra. We're going to go in here, CD, which means change directory to Electra. You can use a tab for auto completion. And you have in here a lot of files, including ours on jailbreak.sh. Before we can use it, we need to create a permissions to execute this file. So ch mode. 775 on jailbreak.sh. And now we will be able to run the file. But before we do that, we need to move to the device and make sure that any tweak that can remain as a leftover is removed. So we're going to do that right now. Okay, so here is the uh, device. And what we need to do first before going to the procedure of on jailbreaking is to make sure that we remove any applications that we have installed from Cydia that may remain as a leftover. In my case in here, it's Respring, but in your case, it might be Falsa or it might be, I don't know, iTerminal and so on. So we have to go here to Cydia and remove them manually to ensure that we do not have any leftovers because after that, we can't remove them anymore until we jailbreak again, of course. So I'm gonna go here to the installed and navigate to here where I should have the uh, Respring. Yes, I press modify, remove, and get rid of it. So after I get rid of all the tweaks that I have installed, and I know that may leave a uh, leftover after I unjailbreak, I will be able to call the command from the computer and of course, make sure that everything is nuked so I no longer have any jailbreak remains. Now I'm gonna go ahead in here and close CDM and we can go back to the computer and carry out our procedure. As you can see, I do not have any icons aside from the CDM and the Electrum and CDM will be removed by the script so there is no problem in that. 
All right, so all the tweaks that may remain as a leftover have been removed. So what I need to do now is to just run the script. To run it, I make sure that I'm in the Electra folder, and I am. It's represented by the fact that it says Electra in here. And now I just have to run dot slash and on jailbreak.sh. So press enter, press enter again, and you will be good to go. It will remove everything, including the Cydia and the binaries and so on. It will fix up the host file and everything so that you will have a clean version of the iOS 11.x that you're running without having to restore or without having to update. Now, remember that you will be able to jailbreak again in the future if you want to. And if you want to jailbreak again in the future, the jailbreak will believe that it's a new version. It will not recognize any of the old files because they will be removed. Now your device will reboot and that's it. We're going to see if the Cydia has been removed successfully. Okay, so the phone has restarted and now if I go ahead in here, no more Cydia, the device is no longer jailbroken. If I open the Electra, it will tell me to jailbreak, not to enable the jailbreak, which means that Electra now believes that it's the first time it's been installed on this device, which means that all its files in the backend have been removed. So if I want to remove Electra as well, I can simply go ahead in here and tap and remove the Electra and that's pretty much it. I'm no longer jailbroken and I'm running a clean version of the iOS 11.3 beta in my case. And you can see it's a beta because I have these that of course I cannot disable if I'm not jailbroken. Anyways, this is how you un jailbreak the Electra jailbreak without having to update or restore. Thank you for watching. I'm Geosnow. Until the next time, peace out.